Hello, Nuri. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. How are you? Uh, how was your day? <laughs> it was pretty, pretty good. All right, great. Uh, great, so we're going to... We're going to wait for everybody else here. So tell me, what do you do today? Uh, I went at the hospital again. To the hospital. Yeah, to the hospital, making an, an appointment. Oh, really? OK. Yeah. And all that. That's, that's awesome. OK. And you? What about you? Um, it's been it's been such a busy day. You have no idea. 
do, do me a favor because um, my cell phone my cell phone broke today well do me, do me a favor, can, you, can you please send a message in the group I, hold on i think this is the one i just want to make sure uh that i got the right group here no i got it i got it I got it don't worry thank you okay got it. i got it i got it i got it i got it, I got it. all right very good All right. Mm -hmm. anyway, so yeah, I, I guess that's the right group. So, anyways, uh, that's great. So, what do you, um, how do you feel about yesterday's topic? <laughs> uh, something, something difficult. A little bit difficult. Yes. Do you do you consider you have questions about it? Uh, no. No. All right. All right, that's great. Ali, welcome, Ali. How are you? Hi. I didn't know it was you. I was like, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I I totally forget sometimes that. I just assume that people know my number for some reason sometimes. No, I I I, I, I do write down everybody's name um when they come to class because then I have to send them messages in case you know they have an emergency. But the thing is that yesterday I had a problem with I have a I have an I have an iPhone and I have another cell phone right. But the thing is that I use my iPhone, and yesterday I connected my iPhone to to iTunes and there was this update and I tried to update the iPhone and then it turns out that the update didn't go through, and what happens is that that um, it kind of like it disconnected my iPhone in the middle of of the update and then when I tried to rerun it you know it said that that I. I came up with an error and then, you know, I cannot fix it. I've tried so many things, but apparently I have to get the original cable and that's the problem that I'm running into, you know? So basically just, just need to like install the, the software, like the system again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a problem. It's a problem with the operating system. Yes. Mm. But the thing is that I need the, I, I think I need the original cable and I don't have the original cable. <laughs> so, oh my God. Yeah, uh, so it's because because it's getting disconnected in the middle of the update, you know. So, it I think I, I, guess I that's lost like all the information. Sixty dollars the cable, right? Or uh, yeah. how much? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm not gonna buy a cable. No, I'm actually gonna um, I'm gonna drop by one of my friend's house today, just so he can borrow me. He can he he can lend me one of his cables. And yeah, uh, that's better than I spend right just the sixty bucks just for the yeah, cable. Yeah, I wouldn't know. No, it's yeah, it, and it is true. You know, it's it's funny. It sounds like a meme, but it's not. It's actually like sixty dollars. You know, that's why I stopped using like Apple products because after the phone that I had, mm -hmm. I used to have a, an iPhone, and I hated it when something because the cable is the one that just it breaks every time, right? Yes. So I bought like I bought like two original, and then I I said like, oh no. Um, this is enough. And then I, I sold it and I bought another phone because I hated it so much. You're right. Yes. Uh, that's, that's, that's what's happening to me. You know, that's, I hate yeah. it. I hate it. Good luck then with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I know. Monica, welcome, Monica. Where have you been? Thank you. It's been a long time. <laughs> what's up? How are you? How was your, how was your day today? All good. <laughs> you look tired, Alberto. Welcome, Alberto. How's how's it going? Everything good, good Alberto. Evening. Good evening. How are you, man? Hi. Oh, uh, Oli. Hello, Oli. <laughs> Hi, I'm doing. I'm I'm great. I like your name. They usually when so so people can say Ollie, you know, and and <laughs> <laughs> that's actually the name, not all right, very good. Uh, let's see, all right, guys. So uh, welcome, guys. Welcome. All right. So today, guys, uh, we're gonna talk about something, something that um, you're gonna be, you're not gonna be tested tested on this, guys. But uh, this is related to tomorrow's topic. Okay. All right, but there is one thing that I need to do first, okay? 
I need to go over the platform with you guys. All right. So first thing first, guys, I need you guys to tell me if you have questions. First of all, <clears throat> raise your hand, guys, if you have not finished section one, two, three, and the midterm. You should have finished the section one, two, three, and the midterm, guys. Todo el mundo debió haber finalizado ya la sección uno, dos, tres, y el midterm. All right. Have you all finished that, guys? Yes. 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 All right. Very good. So do we have any questions? Are there any questions where uh, we ran into problems? No? We're good? Right now, are you taking questions just for those, those specific <clears throat> yeah, sections and the midterm or for <laughs> something else? No, those specific sections in the midterm. Yes. Mm, okay. Yes. All right. So if everybody's fine, then congratulations okay all right guys so um so hold on are you seeing the presentation good no right oh, i don't know what's going on hold on give me one second guys All right, there we go. I think it should work now. All right, guys. So today, guys, we're going to talk about stated verbs, okay? Now, do we remember what a verb is, guys? Do you know the concept of a verb? Who can tell me what the concept of a verb is, guys? Concept of a verb. I'll ask again, okay? Uh, Monica, what do you think a verb is? What's a verb? It's like an action. Very but good, I okay. don't remember the, the exactly concept. The exact concept? Okay, that's okay, all right? So it is a word that represents action, right? That is the concept that we have so far. An action, I mean, a word that represents an action, all right? And the verbs that we know, guys, they are usually actions, right? Like, what would be an example of a verb that you know, Alberto? Tell, uh, tell me, well, actually, give me an action verb. What would be an action verb that you know? Pick. What? Pick. P-I-C-K. Pick, okay. All right. And, I mean, could you please use it on, could you please use it in an example? Okay. Could you please pick uh, the children's? Pick the children. Just children is plural already, right? Very good. Okay. All right. Could you please pick the children? Very good. Um, let's see. Mailing. All right. What other action verb do you know? You know, a word that represents action. Maylin? Oh, you're muted, Maylin. All right. You got mal de teacher. All right. You're still muted. Okay, Jenny. All right. Could you please give me another sentence with a verb that represents action, please? Uh, do? Uh, the example uh, Maria to play soccer. Maria plays soccer, okay? Plays an action verb, very good, okay? Very good. So guys, it turns out, guys, that we have different categories of verbs, okay? We have action verbs, and we also have these verbs called stative verbs, okay? So in today's agenda, guys, we will go, uh, we will learn about the use of stative verbs, okay? So we're gonna go over stative verbs and we're gonna have some practice at the end. All right, let's get started, guys, okay? Let's, let's start with a warm up. Um, do me a favor, guys. I will give you, I will give you three minutes, okay? Three minutes, guys, to correct the mistakes in these sentences, okay? They all have one mistake, okay? I want you guys 
to give me the right sentence, right? They all have one mistake, guys. Find out what the mistake is and write them down in your notebook, okay? So, esas cinco guys tienen error en todas ellas tienen cinco. Oh my God. Las cinco tienen error, right? <laughs> Necesito que me corrijan en su cuaderno y que me pongan la oración correcta. Got it? It's hard to switch sometimes from English to Spanish, guys. All right, so I'll give you three minutes, okay? All right, who's ready, guys? Who has at least one? Let's go over number one, guys. So uh, who can tell me what is wrong with number one? I. She has. Uh -huh. She has a salon every day. Very good. She has, right? So she yes. has a salad every day. All right. Very good. Good job. Okay. Uh, Nuri, what's number two? Uh, I think Melissa loves her husband. Good job. Okay. So it is loves, guys. Okay. All right. So it's loves. Um, let's see. Monica, number three. Eric is a big with you. No, guys. Guys, no. In, in English, in English, Eric guys, is I agree. A with you. Hold on, guys. Agree, guys. In English, it's a I... verb, okay? In Spanish, guys, we do not use the verb, okay? In English, it is a verb, so you have to follow the structure of a verb. Okay. All right? Guys, if you say, I am agree, because you're thinking in Spanish, okay? This is like saying, I am, I am run. Do you say, I am run, guys? Yo soy correr? No. No, it right? Is so how do you say? Mm, all right, very good. No, no. That's, that's not the answer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right okay. that's not the answer either. But okay, all right. Uh, who has this one, guys? Eric, number number three. What do you think? Thank you, Monica. It's all right. Uh, what do you think, guys? Eric agrees with you. Eric agrees, guys. Okay, right, Eric. Agrees. No, is is yes. No, no, you Eric can't say no. Is no, you can't say is agree. Um, okay. Or is agreeing? Okay. All right. Very good. And we'll see why. Okay. That the reason why, right? You said that it was is agreeing. All right. That's exactly the reason why we're gonna study this today. Okay. Uh, number four. What's number four? Thank you, Alejandra. Um. Uh, Adrian. Adrian. What's number four? What do you think? Adrián, number six. Number five. Number four, Adrián. I don't know the answer for your question. Very good, okay. Very good. Okay, so it's I don't know, right? I don't know. All right. The answer for your question is not I am not knowing, right? Very good. But why? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Haiti. Hello, Haiti. Number five, Haiti. What do you think? What's wrong with sentence number five? Chayanne is like you. Chayanne is like you? Like this? I see you. Chayanne no. is like, like me? Like me. No. No, right? Chayanne, no. Chayanne likes you. Likes Chayanne. Likes you. Very good. Cheyenne likes your 
Moms, okay, very good. Okay, your moms without. Chayang is mine. <laughs> <laughs> See, very good, okay. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. Okay, so guys, ask yourself this question. So why can we not say, guys, why were they wrong? I mean, they're verbs, Davey, you know? Davey, I, uh, Davey, do uh, fans the, uh, the Chayang? Am I a Cheyenne fan? Yes. Eh, not not really. I, I just I just like to make fun of it. <laughs> I really is. is I, I like so I much. Like, I like I like <laughs> I like the music, but I don't listen to it every day. Or you know, it's just like I like it, but I don't. You know. Uh, okay. Way. Okay. Thank. <laughs> All right. Very good. Anyway, so guys, I so the question here is, guys, so they have the right structure, guys, because we can say she's running right she's running every day right so why guys if we have you know if we have if we have a subject right we have a subject guys we have the verb be here all right we have the uh the present participle okay so we have the present participle here and then we have the complement guys why is it okay why is it guys that this is wrong if the, if it's following the same structure ¿Por qué esta oración está mala, guys? Si está siguiendo la misma estructura que present continuous. Why? Because, guys, all of these guys are stated verbs, okay? Why is it wrong, guys? I'm going to have to... Are stated. Are stated. Very good, okay? So they are stated verbs, guys, okay? That's the reason why, okay? So let's go over that, all right? So what do what do steady verbs do, guys? Um, let's see, Kathy, would could you please help me read, Kathy? Okay, uh, steady verbs describe a state rather than a nation. They aren't usually used in the present continuous form. Good job, thank you, Kathy. Okay, so guys, this is the key. Okay, all right, they aren't usually used in the present continuous form. Okay. So no present continuous, guys, okay? Now, yes, guys, you can use them in a... Hold on. You cannot use it in a continuous form, but you can use it in an ING. Oh, how come, right? So for example, guys, can I... Okay, so I cannot say this, you know? But you guys tell me why. I... You know what? Um, let's see, Alberto. Has anybody ever betrayed you? Alberto, has anybody ever betrayed you? Mm, not really. Not really? Nobody? Nobody. Hmm. Okay, so who has who has been betrayed here, you guys? And I'm not talking about like being cheated on, okay? Like, uh, I mean, it could be cheated, being cheated on or it could be like, a friend, you know, maybe a friend betrayed you, right? Who has been betrayed? Nori, have you ever been betrayed? So sorry. Eh, acaban de empatar, me desconecté. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not okay. betrayed. I, I don't understand that, that word, betrayed. Uh, okay, right, all right. Alejandro, have you ever been betrayed? Yep. Okay, very good. All right, so now, guys, okay, let's say Alejandro has been betrayed, right? So let's say, all right, just, just for, for uh, you, you know, just for preserving confidentiality, guys, okay? We're not going to mention the name, right? But let's say her name was uh, Maria, right? All right, let's call her like that, Maria. Maria, all right? So, guys, can I say, guys, uh, Alejandra is believing... Maria, can I say this? No. All right. So the reason why, guys, is because this, of course, is a stated verb, right? A stated verb, guys, uh, represents a state rather than action, right? Feelings, okay? We're going to talk about feelings, okay? All right? So this is a state, guys. Okay? This is a state. It's not a continuous action. And... If you have if you if you have a hard time finding out, guys, if some if a verb is a stated verb or if a verb is a 
is a, is an action verb. What you can do is, you know, a, an action verb always represents movement, right? So you can represent it with your, your with your with your hand. So I am running, and you can do this with your hand, right? I am fighting, and you can do this, right? I am talking, and you can do this, guys. But how would you represent it with your hands? Believe. How would you represent that? You can't, can you? You can't, okay? You cannot represent it with your hand, okay? Because it is a state, it's not an action, okay? So the right way of saying this, guys, is, right? Alejandra doesn't believe, right? Maria, got it? We cannot say believes, guys, because she betrayed her, right? Anyways, so, uh, so this is how you say it, guys. Because, again, it is a state. So let me ask you a question, guys. Is it possible for me, guys, to use, first of all, let me ask you this, okay? Does this word believing exist, yes or no? Anybody? No, it's believing, no believing. Okay, no, no, I'm, I'm, guys, I'm, okay, the word believing, guys, does it exist or not? Believing. Yes or no, guys? No? Yes. Yes, okay. Mm, he believing is creer or creyente, yes? Kind, kind of, right? Kind of, right? Try not to translate, guys, okay? All right, yes, guys, guys, the word exists, okay? So if we cannot use it like this, guys, how can we use it? How can we use the word believing, guys? Somebody please give an example. How can I use it in... in in ing form i'm gonna ask the last person to turn on the camera five four rafael mayen francisco haiti rodrigo tatiana all right last person to turn on the camera guys five four three two one tatiana all right no, Tatiana turned it on. Okay, all right. So, all right, uh, <laughs> Rodrigo. All right, Rodrigo. There you go. So, Rodrigo, um, let me ask you, Rodrigo. <laughs> Why are you laughing? All right. So, Rodrigo, um, so can you give me a sentence using the word believing? Are you there? All right, let's ask somebody else meanwhile. All right, Santos, can you give me an example using the word believing? You are muted. Yes. Um, believing in Jesus is a good thing. Okay, very good. Okay. Very good. Guys, believing, do me a favor. Believing in yourself. Very good. Believing in yourself, okay? Write the stated verbs, guys, okay? These are some examples, okay? Guys, so there is a difference, guys, between a gerund, all right? You should know by now, guys, what a gerund is because I have told you that so many times already, right? And a present participle, okay? Now, what do they have in common, guys? What they have in common, guys, is that they both... They both end in ing, guys. Okay, they they do have that in common, all right? But here's the difference, okay? A gerund, guys. A gerund is what, guys? A gerund will always be treated as a noun, guys. Okay. Chayan. No, uh, well, yeah, like Chan. Yes, exactly, a noun, right? So it will always be treated as, as a noun, okay? Now, uh, uh, on the contrary, guys, a present participle, all right, this is the continuous action. You got that? All right, so continuous action, guys, and present participle, okay? So yes, you guys, you can say, you know, you can say, for example, right? You could say, believing uh, believing in yourself is good. Now, see, this sentence is good. You could also say, guys, okay, um, 
the best, you know, the best thing you can do is believing. All right. So you could also use it like this, guys. All right. The best thing that you can do is believing. Okay. Got it? Because you're using it as a noun. Okay. Now I have a question. Tell me. On um, well, now that you mentioned this, um, on the verbs, on the examples that you uh, presented before, the first sentence I remember that says she's having a salad every day. Yes. But I was thinking, and you correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm at a restaurant and I said I'm having a salad and she's having soda, it's like basically the same structure, but is it wrong? If you say that in a restaurant, that is correct because you're using it, you're using it to talk about the future, okay? Oh, I'm having a salad, okay? All right. Now, if you're using it, if you're, for example, guys, okay, that, that's, a, that's a very good question. Verbs, guys, can be used in ing form or in base form, okay? But it depends. In this case, guys, if we go back to the scenario before, hold on. She's having a salad every day, right? This is the reason why you cannot use having here, okay? If you're, if you're at a restaurant, guys, and you say, I'm having a salad, right? I'm having a salad right now. That is correct, guys. But this is wrong because of... The time that you're specifying. Exactly, guys, okay? You cannot say, I'm having a salad every day, right? That is a routine. And remember, what do we use for routines? What we use for routines is simple present, right? Not present continuous. Got it? You can also say, guys, I'm having a bad time, you know? I'm having a bad time, okay? This is also, guys, a way of saying, you know, like you have a bad time, you're feeling bad, okay? All right? So that that is that is possible, okay? There are some verbs, guys, that can be used in both states, but it depends, okay? It depends on what, what you mean, all right? Now, Just to go... check if you want to use, like, that specific time frame, you will have to use a perfect tense, right? If you want to use what, what, what? Like uh, specifying like something, not using a simple press. Oh, forget it. I, I'm going to confuse them. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, that's okay. Right. Try, try to, try to explain it. No, for example, I can say uh, she's been having a salad every day. You're specifying oh. that it has started in the past, but it's still continuing. Yes. So if you say she's been having a salad, every day this is also correct but yeah that's but, another but, i just yes. wanted to check yeah. <laughs> yeah that is correct yes but that's another topic okay <laughs> thank you all right very good guys okay all right i was going to mention guys one, one last thing before uh before i answered those questions guys okay so now now these guys okay when you use it as a present part uh supreme participle guys remember it is a it represents an action right I am believing. So this, this is incorrect, right? Because it is not a continuous action, guys, okay? It needs to be a state, all right? Now, there is another thing, guys, okay? The, um, the verbs, guys, are divided in... Hold on, let me see if I got that here. The verbs, guys, I'll show you guys, but it's not here. The verbs, guys, the steady verbs are divided into subcategories, okay? So we have feelings, we have state of mind, and we have other things, okay? So that also comes into um you know you, you you have to take that into into consideration as well okay so here guys why is this wrong um monica so why is this example wrong here i am not knowing the answer why was that scratched off what is the what the correct i am not yeah why i am not knowing the answer was wrong here why yes uh, because it has an ing very and good. It's a state verb. Very good. Okay. It is a stated verb, guys. Okay. And the verb knowing, guys, does not represent a continuous action. Okay. All right. Um, actually, guys, how, how would you say uh how do you what do you think? Uh Haiti. All right. What do you think? Can I say I am knowing her? Is this possible? I am knowing her. Now I am specifically asking that question, guys, because all right, I'm specifically I'm specifically asking that question, guys, 
Because in Spanish, guys, we do. Mira, es que la estoy conociendo, right? O lo estoy conociendo, got it? In Spanish, we can do it, but is it possible to say this, guys? I am knowing her. Rafael Mayen, what do you think? Katy, Rodrigo, Haiti, what do you think? Is it possible to say I am knowing her? Uh, I I don't think that it, that it that is in, uh, um, I don't think it can be used like like. So how will you say that, guys? Done. Okay, okay, all right, very good I'm, answer. I'm, maybe I'm getting to know her. Very good. No, okay, in that case, guys, you would say I'm getting to know her. Very good. Got it. All right. So that's how you would say it, right? Because otherwise, it doesn't make sense in English. Okay. She. All right. This says, guys, she's really liking you see you guys how can you be liking somebody right right now is it possible guys to use it you know informally yes okay like mcdonald's right have you heard i'm loving it like this i'm loving it have you heard that have you have you seen that i'm loving it all right so that exists guys okay however that is very informal all right that is not correct. Like some people in, in America, guys, would say, you was, you know, you was, okay? And that doesn't exist, guys, okay? You was, all right? Very good. He's, he seems happy at the moment, okay? He's seeming happy at the moment. Guys, this will never, guys, unless it's a year, right? But will never, guys, and I have never, actually, guys, now that I remember, I, I, don't, I don't remember ever hearing this word, guys. In, in in present continuous you know this is like super rare that would be super rare he's seeming happy this is also wrong guys because this is also a state verb and you can never use like that guys okay all right so uh here we have the subcategories that i was talking about guys do my favorite guys okay write down some of the examples write down at least guys four examples of each here okay at least four words, guys, from each category. Okay, the category, the, the categories are here, 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 and here. Okay. Um, let's see. That that that. Uh, Haiti, could you please help me read the categories? Just the categories, and give me one example for each category. Why don't we do something, guys, okay? Uh, while I wait for Haiti. I need everybody, guys, to give me one example for each category in your, um, uh, send it to me in the chat, okay? To, uh, to the chat, okay? Todo mundo, guys, denme un ejemplo, guys, de una oración con alguna de esas palabras, all right? De todas las categorías que tenemos aquí. We have four categories, right? All right? Uh, Haiti, let's go. Let's start with number one, okay? Send it to the chat, guys, please. I don't believe in my friend. Very good. I don't believe in my friend. Good job. Okay. Rodrigo Gonzalez, give me one for feelings and emotions. Uh, I hate the... I hate the politics. I hate politics. Repeat, yeah. I hate politics. I hate politics. Very good. Okay. I hate politics, right? Very good. Notice, guys, example number one, right? They are they're all state verse, but they differ because some of them are thoughts and opinions. The ones below that are referring to feelings and emotions, right? The one under that senses and perceptions. Okay. Or uh, uh Tatiana, what would be you know, an example of senses and perceptions. You're muted. Um, face. What? Choose, choose one of these, okay? Choose, choose one of those words. And give me one example. Um, food tastes good. 
Okay, the food tastes good. Okay, good job. All right, the food tastes good. Guys, send me examples to your to the chat, guys. Guys, todo el mundo. Solo un ejemplo tengo de alguien. Okay, guys, necesito que todo el mundo me envíe sus ejemplos al chat. All right, let's go. Uh, Francisco, okay, give me one example with one of the verbs that represent possession. You're muted. Uh, possession. Um, I measure my workout every day. Very good. I measure my workout every day. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. Or belong, right? All right. Very good, guys. So see, guys, they're old, guys. They, they cannot be represented by action, okay? They are some sort of, how do you call this? Uh, abstract ideas. You know, these guys, okay? These verbs, you can say that they are abstract, okay? Do you know what abstract means, guys? Abstract? Algo abstracto, right? Without any shape, okay? So that is, guys, that is basically, you know, uh, what city verbs are, okay? Now, let me take a look at your examples. Monica says, you don't understand the life. All right, very good. Monica, the only thing that you would need to correct there is you don't understand life, not the life, okay? You don't need to use articles. Alejandra, I doubt you know the right answer, okay? I do know the right answer, though. Oh, good job. Uh, I don't remember about you. I don't remember you, all right? Um, yeah. But yeah. very good. Monica, I love nature. Very good. Uh, Tatiana, guys, remember one example of each, right? Un ejemplo de cada uno, right? Tatiana, food tastes good. Maylin, I agree with you. Very good. Alberto, Pete imagines he's right. Joe prefers chocolate for dinner. They seem to be kind. kind. He belongs to Sue. Very good. Perfect, uh, Alberto. Rafael, I prefer beer than vodka. Vodka. Nore, I agree with my husband. I believe in karma, Rafael. Uh, Monica, he looks really handsome. Very good. Tatiana, I do not remember anything. Very good. Rafael, I have a good a good sense of smell. That, that would be the answer, uh, Rafael. Mayen. Maylin, I like flowers. Very good. Nore, my husband, this is like how my husband dislikes because he's in third, third person, right? Adrian, I think the class is interesting. Very good. Uh, Francisco, I taste the super selective cheesecake. Very good. I have a pretty house. Monica, very good. Rafael, I like to make my own coffee. Very good. I love it. Coffee. No, I love coffee. I love my family. I like the Hawaiian pizza. I hate when select. I wait. I hate when the selector lose. Well, are they playing? Is that what you said? Are they playing now? Oh, I, I didn't even know, guys. I really don't care about soccer. <laughs> but, okay, it's good. Good for you. <laughs> All right. Um, Jenny, she has a good idea. I don't like to feel afraid. Very good. All right. Guys, you guys are all right, okay? All right? Because you you're not using anything in, in um, ING form, okay? All right. So, guys, this is, this is, like, uh, this is like Alejandro's question, all right? This is what I want you to see. Depending on the context, guys, and this is the important part. Depending on the context, okay, some verbs can be referred as states or actions, okay? Depending on the context, okay? For example, you can say, Jenny, you can say? I think it's a good idea. All right, you can say, it's, I think it's a good idea, right? which in this case, guys, think would be a steady verb, all right? But these guys, all right, this does not represent a, an action. This represents a state, okay? All right? An opinion, remember? Do you, you have steady verbs for opinions? Do you remember the first, the first group, guys, here? Thoughts and opinions, right? Pensamientos y opiniones, got it? All right? So think, guys, okay? La palabra think here, guys. This right here is an opinion, right? All right? Which in turn, right, refers to a stative verb, okay? Got it? 
now here guys why am i saying i'm thinking because these right here guys wait a moment i'm thinking right so thinking guys this is a an action guys this represents a continuous action okay action that is continuous okay got it all right so this represents an action that is continuous guys because of the context okay because of everything outside that idea got it all right very good guys all right some other examples guys okay all right some other examples of these cases guys so these specific cases okay Alejandra, help me uh with these examples okay this will also give you a better idea of your own question. Have, I have an old car. I'm having a quick break. Very good. All right. Uh, hold it there. Thank you. All right. So, so Alejandro, why would it be wrong to say I'm having an old car? Because it's an state. It's not an action that you're doing very good okay because it is a state it's possession guys okay all right but what about the second example what is the difference between the first example and the second example go go on because of the same thing that it's an action it's the other way around it's an action it's not a state you're doing very good something. okay very good very good so this is guys <laughs> this is answering guys the question that alejandro asked in the beginning right uh why can you say it like i'm having you know i'm having um i'm having a a burger right i'm having a burger right this represents an action that you're doing at that moment guys if you're at a restaurant for example right not a possession got it if you're going to talk about a possession then that is a stated verb and not an action verb anymore got it got it all right very good another example um Maylin, help me read the second example. Maylin? All right, Jenny, help me read the second example. Do you see any problem with that? Uh, we're seeing, singing Kadari tomorrow afternoon. Very good. Okay, so tell us. Okay, what? Can, why can I not say? Are you seeing any problems with that? What do you think, Jenny? Is action? Mm, okay, because so it's, an opinion. it's not action. It's, it's an opinion. opinion. It's an opinion, yeah. exactly, right? You're actually asking for an opinion, right? So when you say see, guys, see, I mean, see, you can say see, in, you know, you can use see, guys, in a continuous form, right? However, guys, when you say see here, all right, do you see any problem with that? Okay, I'm asking you for an opinion, okay? Okay, all right. Uh, what about the second example? Uh, Francisco, could you please explain to us the second example? Yes, uh, we are seeing Todanari tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow, not tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, uh, so explain it to us. Uh, it's, it's an action and it's not something that he's doing. It's, it's an action, guys. Okay, right. So this represents an action that you're gonna be doing tomorrow. Okay, all right. Very good. Thank you, Santos. Thanks. Thanks a lot. All right. And the same thing with B, guys. Okay. I am. He's so interesting. You cannot say he's being so interesting, right? Because that would be a stated verb, right? So what about uh, he's being very unhelpful? Now this is true, guys, because at that moment, guys. Okay, this represents an action. Okay, not a state. Got it. So, so in, in, in conclusion, guys, right? Some verbs can be actions verbs and, and, and stated verbs as well, depending on the context, okay? Any questions, guys? Are you ready to have a full exam? Be evaluated? All right. Very good, guys, okay? 
So I do have guys some. Uh, I have I have an exercise here, guys, and I'll send these to the WhatsApp group right now. Okay. So I'll send them right now, guys, and you guys take a look at it, please, and then tell me if you have questions on how to do them. Okay. So we get a couple of exercises here, guys. All right. Do we have any questions, guys? I just send them. Okay. So do we have any questions on what we're going to do? Are we good? All right. Hold on, guys. Select the correct verb. Select the correct verb. You're right. Okay. Hold on. Four. The correct way. Okay. So, and number one, guys, for example, it says, all right, it could be um, my husband. It's always tasting or always tasting the food, right? You have to select between ing or or the base form of the verb. Okay. All right. Let's go, guys. Go. All right, Kathy, let's go because they're waiting for you, okay? Are you there, Kathy? Stay the food. It's stay the food. It's always the food. The All food. right. Yes. So number one, mm -hmm. guys. Okay, you have to choose between my husband always tastes or my husband is always tasting. Okay. I G or or gerunds or or, or or base form. Okay. We good? Yes. Yes. Right. Hi. Is is the action that first? Mm. Yeah, it's what you said. Always taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Always taste. Taste. Yes. If. The number two. Sorry, Francisco, I having a call, an incoming call. Okay. The, the number two, she. She has a bath uh, every day. She has. She has. Ah, she has, right? She has. Yes. Look. And the other. Look. Look, she the doctor now. Is she in the doctor now, right? No. Mm, look, is she in the doctor now? Is she in? She in. I consider that a, that is a state. Okay. Okay, okay. And uh, number four, we have a party next weekend. Like she will, maybe. She will have a party. It can be used in that way, uh, David. Wait, which one? Uh, and number four, and uh, he will 
he will have a party next weekend. Yeah, you can say that. Okay. But hold on. Number four says. Hey, he have a party we next weekend. He, oh, he yes, yes. Party. Uh, you should not add will. Okay, you should not add. He he's having a party. He's having a party. Yes. Okay. All right, because it's not a state. Okay, and you're talking about an action in the okay. future. An action in the future, right? Yes. Okay. And, and number five, this coffee. Yes, Francisco. I think Francisco has a question. Go ahead. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it's about the well i i did know that uh, you can use a present continuous uh, speaking of the future but uh, in this case uh, which is the the purpose for for using just to give an estate i i don't understand your question like the, I just saw the topic is like state or just I, I I didn't get that. You didn't so, get what? Like the the topic just it, it says states and I, I didn't I didn't reach the whole the whole topic but I don't know how. Uh, I know that there are steady birth, but in, in this case, what 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 is the, the purpose for for using in, in this way? What is the purpose of using steady verbs? Mm, just, just you are giving a statement, right? <laughs> I have. Okay. Yes. What are you asking, man? I'm sorry. It's just because uh, I, I didn't, I didn't. Came you, you don't know what a, you don't know what a state of verb is. Yeah. Yes, but it's uh you 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 give us uh, uh for example. I am a. I am in in the class right now. That's an state, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but in this case, you said that we can use it like, uh, for example, I I studied uh, yesterday. Do, do me a favor, okay? Send me your question to the WhatsApp group because you need to work with Rafa, all right? And I think your question will be to formulate your question, okay, right? Pensar en la pregunta que quieres hacer realmente. All right, formulala bien para que yo la pueda entender y me lo envías al WhatsApp, a mi WhatsApp cuando la tengas, ¿ok? I need you to finish this exercise with Rafa, ¿ok? All right, uh, so, let's go. Okay. But don't worry, I'll answer your question. Oh, good girls? I'm confused, teacher. Yeah, sure. Tell me. Ask your question. <laughs> Tell me. Okay. I um when when is the when is the tennis uh, later? When is what? I'm when sorry. <laughs> when is what? Okay. No. <laughs> If you want, just because of the time, okay, send mm -hmm. me your question to the WhatsApp group, okay, to 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 WhatsApp, and I'll no, answer. The, I think that the the question that she has is about the using of ing. For example, she is having a party next week. Yes. I don't know if that sentence is correct. Yeah, it is correct. It is correct. All right. Very good. Okay. If okay. you have more questions, guys, um, do, do my favor. I'll gladly answer them. Send them to, to, to WhatsApp, okay? Ask me a question on WhatsApp and I'll, I'll answer. Okay, we need to go back now. All right, guys. So uh, it's time to leave now, guys. If you have questions, guys, because I know that some of you still have questions, okay? 
do me a favor, send your questions to to my WhatsApp guys, okay, or to, or to the WhatsApp group guys. All right, maybe I will answer, maybe somebody else will answer, guys. But please send the questions, guys. Okay, if nobody answers, I will. A lot of a lot of you guys were having issues with question number four, right, guys? I think that you've learned about this, but uh, I, I, you should know, know about this already, right? But these guys right here, number four, all right, have guys can be an opinion, right? Uh, belonging, right? If, if, you, if you're talking about belongings, right? If you're talking about belongings, guys, this is a steady verb, right? If it is not talking about belongings, guys, then, guys, it is an action verb, okay? So, guys, he, this, this right here is he is having, okay? He is having a party next weekend, right? Because we're talking about the future, right? So he's having a party next weekend, guys. He's talking about the future. It is an action verb because it is not talking about belonging, okay? No está hablando acerca de poseer algo. Si el verbo have, guys, no habla de poseer algo, no es un steady verb, okay? Got it? Only when it is possession, guys. For example, I have a cell phone. You're not going to say I'm having a cell phone, got it? Because a cell phone is my possession, all right? If it is a possession, it is a steady verb. Got it? All right, very good, guys. So, um, guys, uh, it's time to leave, guys. Uh, please ask me your questions, guys, on WhatsApp. And uh, continue doing, you know, continue doing this exercise, guys, on your own. Finish it, guys. I'll ask you tomorrow about it, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. And have a good night. Bye-bye, guys. Good night. Thank you. See you.